Welcome back, glad to see you again. My name is Kelly and this is Top 10 Archive. Though scripted television is carefully crafted with a team of writers, there could be something quite magical about an actor going off dialogue and improvising. Stick around and see what made our list of the 10 best unscripted moments from TV. Number 10, The Office, Gay Witch Hunt. It was the season three opener and the episode was already primed with an explosive script, and yet improv master Steve Carell found a way to top it. Carell's character attempting to prove that he isn't homophobic went in with palpable determination for an unscripted kiss on the unsuspecting Oscar Nunez. The noticeable fear and discomfort in Nunez's eyes? Yep, not acting. Number nine, Sherlock, The Sign of Three. Although Sherlock and Watson are great at solving mysteries, in season three, episode two, we learn they're not so great at metabolizing alcohol. Lucky for audiences, it was in this drunken setup that Benedict Cumberbatch, playing Sherlock, fumbled his line so badly that it turned to gold by referring to Watson as his thing. John, wake up. Poisonous about my... <clears throat> root, root. The directors loved it so much it went to air. Number eight, Friends, the one after Vegas. Though the show is jam-packed with improvised lines, one of the most famous is found in the sixth season premiere. After drunkenly eloping in Las Vegas, Jennifer Aniston's character was supposed to say, stop saying the word marriage, but instead, with some pretty believable intensity, shouted, this isn't marriage, this is just the world's worst hangover. And when that happens in a marriage- No, Ross, come on, this is not a, this is not a marriage, this is the world's worst hangover. <laughs> And I can't help but wonder if this is just her pulling from some personal experience. Number seven, Arrow seeing red. All right, this one gets a little intense, but to respect the poignancy of this unscripted moment, we had to give it a spot on this list. In the final moments before Susanna Thompson's character, Moira's death, she said to her daughter, Close your eyes, baby. It was completely unscripted and arguably a key addition to the scene. Susanna was later quoted saying she knew that's what Moira would say in those final moments. Number six, Scrubs, the janitor. There's no shortage of memorable one-liners in Scrubs with some of the very best delivered by Neil Flynn's character, the janitor. Zach Braff, often calling him a genius improviser, has gone on the record stating that sometimes a script would just say, Neil makes something up and then exits. Randomly pick any one of his thousands of lines and the odds of hilarity have never been stacked so wildly in your favor. Number five, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. SOS Part 1 and 2. This colossal showdown between agents and inhumans in the season two finale was packed full of zingy one-liners. And bodies, there were, um, there were a lot of deaths, but the best line of the night went to the actor playing Leo Fitz and it was completely improvised. When an inhuman asked how he'd been contained, Fitz declared, Science, biatch. I don't know if it was a Jesse Pinkman reference. Yes, yeah, science. Or just a little comedic relief. But regardless, this brilliant line needs to become a staple in society's vernacular. Number four, Parks and Recreation, Flu Season. Before becoming a Hollywood megastar, Chris Pratt was busy making people laugh on Parks and Rec. And his best line of the series, completely unscripted. The camera just happened to be pointed on Pratt after Amy Poehler's character exited the room complaining about her flu when he candidly states, Leslie, I, I typed your symptoms into the thing up here and it says you could have network connectivity problems. Everyone should have just thrown in the towel at this point. Hey Chris, I typed in all your amazing qualities to my Xbox, but it said because of my past behavior I need to choose something else to play. Number three, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, Charlie goes America all over everybody's ass. During the second season of episode nine, this clan of lovable misfits gets into a discussion about the single most cherished word in America, freedom. This leads some of the characters to abolish the rules at the bar, while Charlie Day's character decides to morph into what can only be described as a super American with this unscripted song. Okay, I'm gonna rise up, gonna kick a little ass, gonna kick some ass in the USA, gonna climb a mountain, gonna sow a flag, gonna fly on an eagle, I'm gonna kick some butt, I'm gonna drive a big truck, I'm gonna rule this world, I'm gonna kick some ass, I'm gonna rise up, I'm gonna kick a little ass, rock, flag, and eagle! It lasts about 19 seconds in its entirety, but it's a perfect combination of nonsensical American stereotypes and improvisational genius. Number two, Game of Thrones, Valer Morcolis. Did you know that Game of Thrones actually flushed out an entire fictional language just for the show? However, before all the lines could be translated, Ian Glenn's character was set to speak a sentence of the faux language on camera about probably an ambush or a tickle fight. I actually don't know, I don't. 
watch the show, but nevertheless, it seems he did a good job as the language was later retrofitted to incorporate his improvised line. And in the number one spot, The Honeymooners. If you've never heard of Jackie Gleason, now's the time to educate yourself, as he is indisputably a comedic legend. Gleason was a trailblazer, preferring ad-libs and spontaneity over rehearsing lines. The cast had insane chemistry, keeping toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gleason, especially when he threw out his signature line. Pow! Right in the kitchen! 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 This show continues to have a lasting impact on culture and television today, largely in part to Gleason's unparalleled command of improvisation.